So the Bible verse that I chose is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, this verse especially resonates with me as an athlete because to accomplish my dreams, there's a great deal of adversity that I have to overcome first. Um, just like all good things in life, you have to put in a lot of hard work before you can get what you want. Um, so when I first started playing football, I was, uh, I was back in eighth grade. And this was in 2020 when everything was cut short because of COVID. And I had just been cut from the seventh grade basketball team. And that was my main sport at the time until basketball also got shut down. Um, so at this point, I was out of all sports or like activities at the time, but my parents suggested that I should try to play football. And I was pretty nervous, but I decided to give it a shot. I was one of the worst players and I wasn't really athletic, but our season got cut short, but I ended up having a lot of fun than I had done in many other things at that point. Um, so I decided I was gonna play again in high school and then I was better, but I still wasn't where I wanted to be. And then after that season, I wasn't really satisfied with where I was at. And then I decided to like get serious about getting better. So I had gained a lot of muscle, but I still wasn't as good as I wanted to be my sophomore year. So I was a lot more motivated to accomplish my dreams this year. And I'm finally getting closer and closer to playing Division One football and doing all things through Christ who strengthens me. And to prove everyone wrong, he said that I couldn't like do a lot of things and I wouldn't be as good. But even after being uh, really good at track, I still am not where I want to be, but I've taken leaps and bounds and I'm still working every day to become what I want to be. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Romans 12, 4 through 5. This verse is important to me because it's how I view our church. Together, all the people in our church are united together in our love for Jesus. But each individual person also has their own skills and talents with which to search, serve the community. Different people throughout the church will have unique abilities that allowed them to serve our church, whether it be teaching, serving on a Sunday, running book groups or Bible studies, preparing meals or organizing social events. Many people throughout our community are able to contribute to the church through their actions. Throughout my time at church, I've witnessed people serving the church. For several years, I've been an acolyte and helped with youth group and the church events, but now that I've been converted, I want to take a step up in becoming a more active member of our church and help more. As a member of our church, I know that I have much to learn but I also know there are many people who will help me. As I look to the future, I hope I can learn and grow more in my faith and do so find new ways to serve the church community. Kara Pratt, and the Bible verse I chose is Ephesians 4.32. Be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Forgiveness is letting go of all the anger or resentment for someone who has wronged you. Sometimes it is easy to forgive someone, but when it is very hard to forgive someone, just look to God for help. He is always with me whenever I need guidance to forgive someone who has really hurt me. Jesus died to forgive us in our sins, so if Jesus can forgive us for everything we have done, I have to try my best to forgive others even when they have wronged me. I want to become a confirmed member of St. Philip's Episcopal Church because I want to grow my relationship with God. He guides me through my everyday life with decisions I make each day, so I want to become closer to him and grow as a Christian. I also want to become a part of a good community with great people who love and worship God. Being a part of this community will teach me responsibility, accountability, and will help me stay with my spiritual goals. This is why I want to become a confirmed member of St. Philip's Episcopal Church. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Eva Cicciaroni, and I chose Psalm 37, 5. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. This psalm speaks to me about the importance of trust. Trust is having confidence in the reliability, truth, and strengths of someone or something. There are certainly many things that we have to put our trust in. However, God is always at the center. By trusting in him, it lets us trust our peers and friends too. To me, trusting God is more than just believing. It's about being able to turn to him and trust him with my biggest fears, joys, hopes, and more. In order to worship God and accept the promises he has made, you have to put trust in him first. Trust is essential for building connections and making them feel stable. Throughout my life, I learned that by trusting God, I could find the strength to fight any challenge that comes my way. Even when things get difficult, I recognize that God is with me every step of the way, and I trust his actions. I want to be a confirmed member of St. Philip's Episcopal Church because I want to continue to strengthen my relationship with God and build other relationships along the way. I want to be a part of a community that can guide me through my journey as a Christian. Being a part of a wonderful community would empower me to stay the course and make the right decisions. It is also about accountability. When you are part of a church community, others know you and know the path you are on. They can balance you by checking you and holding you accountable in your path. This is why I want to become a confirmed member of St. Philip's Episcopal Church. Um, my name is Matthew Monks. When I was thinking about a scripture that meant something to me, one clearly came to mind. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. The part of the scripture that stands out to me is, With God all things are possible. This is a verse I carry with me every time I step onto the basketball court. A year ago when I started my basketball journey, I didn't think I would be where I am today. But when I met Jake, my basketball trainer, who was a big brother to me, that thought turned around. He taught me that you can accomplish anything with hard work and perseverance. But Jake has taught me more than skills on the court. He has a positive attitude and a strong faith and always trusts that everything is in God's hands. Believing if that, that, that if you have God, anything is possible. He is the one who I first heard this, of this verse from. This verse is important to me because it helped me to believe in myself and reminds me to always look up when things are down. Because I am not alone with God. God gives me strength, a positive mentality, endurance, and perseverance to help me get through anything. Best of all, in my lowest moments, God sent me people like Jake to guide me and encourage me so I knew I was not alone. With God by my side, anything is possible. I truly believe that he will get me through uh, this journey by guiding me towards a better life both on and off the court. St. Philip's also demonstrates this verse because we have a strong community that lifts each other up and helps each other out in times of need. Making even of the best the best, biggest challenges possible to overcome. St. Philip's means a lot to me because it is welcoming and a place that I feel seen and valued. I am grateful for this congregation and look forward to my journey in faith because I know with God, all things are possible. Hi everyone, I'm Nolan. I chose a verse, uh, James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will, will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Before the wrestling season, I was nervous. I didn't really want to wrestle again because my seventh grade year was so bad. In the sport, it's hard, but eventually you have to bounce up after your losses. This phrase relates to me because I had to put in extra hours to get better. I went to wrestling camps over the summer. I even went a weight class down. I even went with people 50 pounds heavier than me. During the hard work, I still got destroyed by the more experienced people, but I still bounced up. Because I persevered when times were tough mentally, I got the ultimate crown of life, victory. Thank you to all my teachers, especially Jane, Kathy, 
and Miss Wagner. You guys have been helping me out since I was five. Thank you to Father Eric for devoting time after church and helping everyone in the youth group to get confirmed. Without you, Kathy and Jane, none of us would have gotten confirmed. To the prayer group, thank you for involving me in your prayers from since I was a baby to since I was being confirmed. My name is Ethelyn Trzinski. I'm in seventh grade and I love animals. So I chose a Bible verse that has to do with taking care of animals. Proverbs 27:23 states, be sure you know the condition of your flocks, give careful attention to your herds. I chose this because we need to give attention to the animals, not just the animals we have as pets, but the wild animals too. These animals are innocent creatures that help, help that need our help to keep the earth healthy and to keep our resources healthy. I know, I know God has a connection with animals because Mary had a little lamb. The reason I think God has a big connection with animals is because in any painting or stained glass picture of God, he is sometimes holding a lamb. The first time I saw a painting like that, I thought, why can't the animals here be treated the same as the animals in heaven? When I hear about the animals being mistreated, it makes me sad and makes me want to work with the animals and care for them. I was baptized at St. Philip's when I was three months old. Since I was little, I've been going to Sunday school and youth group. One thing I remember learning that will stick with me for the rest of my life is that heaven is an adventure. Because heaven is in our hearts, so that means it's with us everywhere we, should, we go, so you should always keep exploring. Oh my God. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Paul Trzinski. I'm in the ninth grade at Stony Creek High School, and for my confirmation Bible verse, I chose Proverbs 22:2. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. I chose this verse because it means no matter how rich or poor we are, God is still the maker of us. And I feel that people who have more money feel like they have more power and are better than everyone else. But the rich do have more pro power over everyone else. And, uh, but the poor have a God with them at all times because God loves everyone, no matter the ethnicity, ethnicity. If they are rich, poor, criminal, or a drug addict, he will always love you. St. Phillips has been a part of my life since I was born. I was baptized here. I've gone to Sunday school and youth group here and a bunch of other things. I've always been close to God, and I always make connections between him and things that happen in my life and in the world. As a kid, I never liked going to church because I was a kid and only wanted to do other stuff, but I'm older now, and I like going to church um, because it's like that's how you get closer to God. 